ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு இங்கிலீஷ் நீட்ஸ் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஹவ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் ஈச் லைன் ஆஃப் திஸ் சோனெட் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ ஃபுல் மெனி க்ளோரியஸ் மார்னிங் ஹவ் ஐ சீன் பை வில்லியம் ஷேக்ஸ்பியர் வாட்ச் டில் த எண்ட் ஃபார் கம்ப்ளீட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் Full many a glorious morning have I seen. Full many, several, you can say, several number of times I have seen glorious morning. Here, glorious morning means good days. The day which is very good for him, glorious for him. So, he has seen something good in his life. That too, several times. flatter the mountain tops with sovereign eye sovereign eye means the sun's gaze now here he refers to the sun morning you know who's the sovereign here the royal person the king the king is the sun when when the sun rises and when he looks at the earth that is through his rays when when there is a sunrise first it is reddish then slowly it turns into golden color and then it becomes white so here he, he refers that sun's golden rays they fall on the earth kissing with a golden face meadows green meadows meadows means the grassland open grassland Now he says that when the sun rises his golden rays come and touch the beautiful meadows beautiful grassland so it is very beautiful to see he calls it as kissing here it is touching with a love gilding pale streams with the heavenly alchemy see the the word alchemy alchemy refers to a process of changing a metal any metal into gold actually it was in fashion people used to say but nothing of that sort happened so that process was called alchemy that means anything can be changed into gold that means making a bad situation into a very good situation gilding pale what is that gilding pale streams before the sunrise there is a little light that time it looks pale so that pale stream is turned into beautiful golden gilded type that means gilded with the gold when any metal maybe a statue or something like that artifact when it is covered with covered with a, a thin golden cover that is called gilding so gilding pale means here turning the pale stream into live and that to beautiful by his golden rays anon permit the besets clouds to ride base here means the bad one clouds to ride that means that these clouds come and cover this act of covering the sun is because of the sun himself the poet says that sun has allowed sun has permitted this to happen that is to cover the face of the sun the sun rises for some times and he makes the whole world look so beautiful with his golden color and then after some times there is a black cloud which comes and covers the sun that covering is a bad thing 
for the poet it is bad thing because that beautiful morning is turned into again a pale day he says with a ugly rack on his celestial face celestial celestial means anything that is in the sky so celestial face here means the sun the sun is covered with a ugly rack ugly rack means now black clouds here he is not blaming the clouds here he says sun has permitted this to happen that is to cover the face of the sun and from the forlorn world his visage hide visage means again face forlorn means anything which is already forgotten or here in this case you can say bad that means this black clouds come and hide the sun stealing unseen the west with this disgrace now the poet says that hiding the face is because of the disgrace because the cloud is treated as a black thing that is the bad thing so something which is not acceptable something bad now this bad thing comes and covers the good thing that is unfortunate stealing unseen that means when the clouds come and cover the poet imagines that it is not the cloud it is the sun who is stealing himself and he is going he is fleeing he is running away in disgrace that means hiding behind the clouds is an act of disgrace he he has been disgraced by something and that is the reason he is covering his face and he, the sun is going into the west and there he goes down even so my sun one early morn did shine one early morn here means shorter period that means the sun who came he bestowed or blessed or who gave the love to the poet only for a little while he shone for a little time means he showed the sun showed his love for only a little time with all triumphant splendor on my brow my brow means again my face that means he showed all type of love to me the sun showed love to me but out alak alak means again alas but out alas he was but one hour mine one hour my uh, mine means the sun was with him for only a little while one hour means very little while he came gave his blessings gave his love and then after some times the sun went away from there without telling anything feeling disgraced but here the poet is not blaming the sun it has happened but mostly you can see that his blame is on the cloud because it this bl black cloud came and took away the shine the region cloud hath masked him from me now yet him for this my love no with disdain the poet is not angry with the sun here though he feels that the sun betrayed him the sun went away from him just because someone took him away the poet says that his love for the sun is great strong and unshakable that's why even though the sun has gone away from him but he still loves him that is the main thing here in the sonnet sons of the world may stain when heaven's sun stains 
that means heaven's son means the S U N that is son. So once he can get the stain, he can become obscure. What about the sons of the world? That means the human beings. It is natural for any human being to go like that. It is to say that it is very natural for any human being to be carried away with bad things. Sometimes bad things come and they snatch our goodness. So far I have given you only the meaning of the text. That here, so far the poet is referring to the sun, sun's blessing, sun's love for the poet, but here sun is not the real sun. Sun is the beloved, that is the lover who loved Shakespeare. So he says that for some times he got a lot of love from his beloved. After some times someone came, a bad element and took away his lover. The lover abandoned the poet. He left him and went away. Someone snatched his love and he says that the love he got from his beloved was for a very short time. When it was just growing, someone came and that is what he says black cloud. When you go through Shakespeare's biography, you come to know that there is a mention of a dark lady and there is a mention of Mr. W H R H W. People say that Shakespeare loved a young man and their love was like love between gay, two, two men that is gays. Here also you can see it refers to not a lady, it refers to that person W H R H W love. Shakespeare was in love with that person and this dark lady came in between and she took away Mr. W H. So there is a pain of separation that is what he has written here. So dark cloud here means the dark lady, the sun here refers to Mr. W H R H W. At the end he says though the person who he loved went away from or fled from him, but still he keeps on loving him till his last breath. He has no complaint. He is not angry with the conduct. Actually he should have been angry, but here he is not angry with. So this is a great thing.